First, an EDI 850 purchase order is received from your trading partner, translated and sent to your backend system. Next, your backend system generates a purchase order acknowledgement, which is translated into an EDI 855 order acknowledgement and sent to your trading partner. Later on, once the order ships, your backend system generates an advance ship notice, which is translated into an EDI 856 ASN and sent to your trading partner. This is the document that typically contains the shipping and tracking information. Now that the order has shipped, your backend system generates an invoice, which is translated into an EDI 810 invoice and again sent to your trading partner. Now, those are the core four connected documents of an order to cash process, but there can be other connected documents, such as this remittance advice, or possibly a warehouse transfer order and advice, or a load tender, or a customs form. Now, the exact documents needed for your business process really depends on the agreement between you and your trading partner. That's the end of our EDI 850 overview. If you're looking to receive, transform or send EDI 850 purchase orders or any other EDI document type, feel free to request more information or a demonstration of our Clio integration cloud. Thank you for watching.